no surprise there. Uh, dirty, stinking, both shit eaters. The ends justify the means. It's okay to do an immoral act to justify another moral act. I wonder if the, the, what the morality is. Do you have? I think you have kids, fatty. I mean, I think I've heard them in the background. Um, they going to public school. Uh, you know, is the public financing some sort of service your little fucktards are taking advantage of? Uh, uh huh. Hmm. Huh. Huh. You're claiming that it's okay to steal in order to achieve a certain loftier goal. Yeah, you're again bullshit rhetoric. You can't deal with the real circumstance. You got to create some sort of artificial notion that the government is stealing when it says that when it when it has its fucking name on the fucking note, you're going to call it stealing. When it's the United States of America, you think no, it's not the United States. You're your own big fat nation. And and you're you're leeching off of what that nation, that civilization has created. You're living off of it. You're feeding off of it. And then you have the 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 you're just a fucking, you're a petty parasite. I mean, you're not even having any respect for the host you're feeding off of, you stupid pig. And, but you're, but, uh, so what I'm going to focus on here, I'm focusing on the economic issue of it. More money is donated to charity and more people are helped by private charity when taxes are lower. If the government... Says big fat guy. <laughs> I mean, you got no evidence of any of that. I got completely out of the charity business, you know what would happen? More money would be available to the actual people who need it, rather than being funneled through bureaucrats and red tape and inefficient government systems. Oh, please. What, like I said, what, what is the real budget here, okay? You're talking about aid to, mo what, mothers with dependent children? Uh, so what charity is going to take care of those problems, realistically? What private charity is going to have the the resources or the capacity to do all the evaluations and all the house inspections and all the, the, the child welfare agency and all the other crap that goes with that. What fucking charity is going to have the infrastructure to be able to do any of that, asshole? Yeah, that's right. None. It's so bad that when taxes go up, people give so much, uh, people don't donate as much to charity to the point where the government has to give you a tax break for giving to charity. Well, they really don't have to do that, and they do that because of a lot of political, you know, special interests, okay? So I am all for getting rid of tax deductions to charitable organizations, and I'm all for going back to a 90% tax bracket. How fucked up is that? So here you are, you're arguing from your lofty perch on your pedestal that you put yourself on for being so good and compassionate. Uh, no, that's not what she was doing at all. She wasn't from a lofty perch at all. She was just uh, arguing the simple ethics of um, recognizing that uh, this selfish attitude of you fucktards doesn't take care of the real circumstances. There's a huge amount of unfairness bit built into life. That's what life is. Life is ignorant, dumb forces. And we as civilized human beings that have the capacity to care and understand what it is, to understand our frailty, the fact that my roof could fall on me any moment, anything could happen to me, and that I would be vulnerable if there wasn't some infrastructure to take care of that problem. And, and any rational human being can see that, unless they got a million bucks in the bank and they don't care whether their house falls down, right? And so, yeah, but everybody's not living from that position. Most people are vulnerable and they can understand what it is to, understand, to, to want to live in a society that understands and can appreciate that vulnerability. That we all aren't born in the same place and obviously, as is again, the point of the video, okay, look at the title of this video and recognize where it came from, alright, and the argument that was made here is that, uh, you know, this, this idea that people earn all this money is bullshit. Okay, most of the uh, wealth held is old money, not new money, asshole. And, and when you don't fucking earn it, this conversation about stealing ends. You think you're the, you're, you're like the keep the queen shit here because you think that you're so much more moral, but you fail to see how immoral the act is. You are taking your morality and forcing it on everyone else. Yeah, that's what we. That's what people do in a democracy. They they rationally think about a, a problem and they say, well, what's the rational solution? 
Uh, should we fix the problem and, and cure it or uh, create infrastructure like a public school system? Or should we do some piecemeal bullshit and say, well, let the poor, just let them eat cake? Yeah, well, we've decided let them eat cake thing is bullshit. We can do better than that. Fuck card. It's not charitable to steal from other people and then give to the people in the world. It's not um, ethical, rash, it's not, it's not manly-like. To, to talk about people who didn't earn money as if they did earn it, okay? That's like making yourself a fake trophy and say, look what I won. I, you know, I, I just go into a trophy store and buying yourself world's greatest person trophy when you didn't do a damn thing to earn it. And you're saying that somehow that's ethical. It's ethical to pretend you earned something when you didn't fucking earn it? That's bullshit. And that's what we got to fix first. So until you fix the starting line, all right, and you have a fair race. You have no business passing your judgment, motherfucking pig face. Forced charity is no longer charity. It's tyranny. It's not forced to charity. A bunch of this stuff is basically insurance. Okay, it's a, it's a it's a it's an insurance policy. We we create insurance against these disasters, whether it's flood insurance or this insurance or poor insurance. There's all of these kinds of, they're, but they're basically just insurance policies, because inevitably this shit's going to happen, and you goddamn know it. And until we have some kind of restraint on on people breeding, because you know that's the real root of the problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, the problem's going to exist, and ignoring it isn't going to fix it. And we saw what happens when we did that. When there was no government policy, what the fuck happened? All right. Yeah, people worked eight hours a day for for one day's food, and and kids died in sweatshops. That's what happened when we didn't care, you dumbass. When we relied on the compassion and charity of the rich. And you're basically creating a right that doesn't exist. The right for these people to get other people's money. No, the right to a fair fight. Uh, the right not to. To, to, to be obligated to play a game um, where other people are allowed to have weapons they don't have. While violating the rights of others, you, you, you have no principles. Yeah, you're the one without the principles. You're a slave owner. You're a, you're a motherfucking crim. You're the first criminal. You, did, you committed the first theft. And you're complaining because Robin Hood's coming back and saying, no, you're not going to get away with it. Robin Hood's in town. And he's going to play umpire, and he's going to make sure you fucking cheaters can't cheat no more. And he's going to fix the cheat. He's going to take back what you've stolen, fatty. You think you do, but you don't. You, you do not. You fail to realize the lack of principles inherent in the stealing of other people's money, the taking of their rightfully earned property. Ah, there we go. Rightfully earned. Okay, again. So what we were talking about with Mannix the pirate was inheritance. All right, so you're saying that when somebody inherits money, they rightfully earned it. They, de they deserved it. They did something of that demonstrates some kind of content of their character aspect. And that's a pile of motherfucking shit, and you goddamn know it. To give to other people. And you're mistakenly thinking it's a charitable act. No, we're mistakenly identifying, but we're quite correctly identifying it as an act of civilization. That's what a civilization does. And if a civilization doesn't do that, then it looks like the Great Depression. Then it looks like shit. So, who's the person that needs to pull their head out of their ass? You fail on the economic side, you fail. Well, you know, you're not going to have to have a lot of problems with your head when the guillotine gets greased up. Because again, you're making your, you know, you don't want me on the old tribunal, <laughs> you know, the old citizen tribunal. You don't want me on it, uh, you know, because I'll remember this video. On the moral side, you might want to rethink your position. To the Bastille! <laughs> yeah, viva la revolution! Yo, yeah, well, fuck you, you big fat. I mean, I'd say you had your head up a fucking the rich man's ass, but obviously your head's so fucking big, it can't even, it'd have to be like Oprah's big fat ass. It'd have to be a really big fat ass for your head to be up it. But you're obviously licking asses, and you're licking rich man's asses, and you're probably doing it because you got some kind of pile of money you've been sitting on, or that you used to, to build out of your life. How many jobs where you did real hard work have you had? Hmm, I wonder. 
<laughs> yeah, I wonder. Okay, there, enough said. Go. Fuck these guys. Assholes. Yeah, but you can't stay on the argument, right? I mean, there's a simple premise here. You know, before we can do all this judgment about how people own something, we have to have a fair system that, 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 that uh, appoints or, or distributes ownership. And the simple argument is, is you give the stuff to the workers. You force people to earn what they have. And then they can make an argument that, hey, I earned it. All right? If, if I don't want to give it to somebody else, that should be my business then. I mean, you still have to do the minimums of civilization. But you need that kind. You have to at least get to that point before you can make a credible argument about owning anything. You have to have that earn part first, jackass. And most wealth has not been earned it is handed down. It's legacy ownership, fucker. It's not earned ownership anymore.